What's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we've got another WNBA video for you for prize picks and underdog. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Uh, we both did, and um, I mean, God bless America. <laughs> and I say that, uh, I say that uh, being serious, like I'm very grateful to live in the best country on the planet and uh, just feeling really proud uh, to be I don't know, so blessed to live in a country like this with uh, the opportunities we have. So we hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, we've got four plays for you today, Flex Friday on prize picks. Um, so hopefully these will cash and maybe help you with uh, your protected play if you use any of these. Uh, before we get into our plays though, if you haven't signed up for prize picks or underdog, uh, use promo code backdoor for underdog and uh, they will give you a deposit match up to $250. And um, they will also give you an instant pick'em special, uh, which is a discounted play that'll help you cash your first slip. And for prize picks, just use the promo code at the bottom of the screen and uh, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Um, so yeah, there's a link in the description for both of those. And there's a little explanation um, about uh, the deposit matches and whatnot. If you're looking to sign up and uh, diversify the platforms you're on, we highly recommend it. Um, it's just always good to uh, diversify your portfolio uh, with uh, fantasy sports. So. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, we have all sorts of content we're covering, uh, multiple sports, UFC, um, MLB, sometimes um, we love basketball, football, um, and we are going to be launching our, our fantasy football podcast very soon. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed, uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as these plays come out so they don't get bumped or removed. And if you guys don't mind, do us a favor and like the video. Uh, we really appreciate the support. You guys have been awesome. All, always taking good care of us. So we appreciate the whole community. And uh, yeah, just hitting that like button is the best way to support the channel. It just puts us in front of a larger audience, helps us continue to grow. So we appreciate you guys. All right. So these are the plays we're going to be getting into today. Um, I'm getting these lines on prize picks and underdog. Uh, I'm going with uh, Odyssey Sims over 15 and a half points and assists and Jackie Young over 27 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, I'm taking uh, Tina Charles for over her first half fantasy score on prize picks. And then I'm going with her first half PRA on underdog over 14. And then uh, on both platforms, we're taking Angel Reese under 13 and a half points. All right. Sounds good. Well, if you haven't signed up for Daily Grind yet, uh, they make killer tools that just help you uh, cash your slips more often. Um, our favorite is the DFS Optimizer. Uh, it's just an amazing tool. It does all the work for you, shows you all of the best plays on all of the platforms and uh, has them all aligned so you can compare what the lines are at and what the odds are looking like. And um, yeah, just a really great tool and uh, basically pays for itself. But uh, if you use our code backdoor, um, you'll get 25% off of whatever subscription duration you sign up for. So you can use that for a whole year if you want 25% off all year. Um, but yeah, dgfantasy.com, code backdoor. Um, they'll take good care of you. Uh, they're our first partner that ever partnered up with the channel. We love those guys and uh, we love the tools they make. So definitely take advantage of that 25% off and uh, cash your slips more often. Um, so, all right, uh, let's start with Odyssey Sims here. Actually, before we do, let's like quickly go over the recap because it was a little bit of a heartbreaker on my end. Uh, Jordy's play crushed, but I was feeling so good about this. Uh, Natasha Cloud, uh, it was right on par. I didn't think she was going to do much with rebounds. She only went for two, and um, then she started getting more assists late in the game, and then I was just like, okay, we're still safe. We're right at 11, and then with like 30 seconds left in the game, uh, she grabs one more rebound and uh, 0.5 dust. So super close. Unfortunately, it uh, it just didn't go our way. But uh, your play did good, right, Jordy? Yeah. Um, luckily, Natasha Howard went crazy in the first half. We took her first half PRA for over, uh, I think it was 12 and a half, and she went for 20. So she uh, she had a big half, and uh, she had a really crazy game. I think she ended with like 48 PRA or something on like the entire game. So she, yeah, she, she killed it. Game. All right, so let's get started with Odyssey Sims here. Um, I like her uh, going over this line tonight. She's cleared it in three out of her last five games. And uh, the games where she hasn't really been doing much, uh, she really wasn't getting the, the minutes. Um, she's averaging 25.9 over the last five games, um, but that's uh, also including that last game where she went for uh, almost 38 minutes. Um, so uh, we're seeing like her minutes go up here, a uh, little bit of injuries on the team as well. So I'm sure that's playing a little bit of a role here, but um, I like her to go over this tonight. 
Um, uh, just 1.2 fouls a game, so not getting in foul trouble. Decent from the field, 44% on 9.6 attempts. Um, not really doing much from three-point uh, range, but that's okay. Uh, this isn't that big of a line. And then um, if we take a look at her assists here, uh, it's been pretty solid, especially in the last two games, six in uh, each of those outings. Um, but yeah, feeling great about this. Uh, like I said, with the injuries too, um, I think that she might be uh, getting a little bit of extra minutes here. And I think that's part of the bump lately. Um, but the, the matchup is pretty solid. Uh, fifth in points allowed and uh, eighth in uh, assists allowed. So, um, you know, below average in both of these categories with uh, what they're allowing uh, to their opponents. Um, so I'm liking this to go over. If we uh, hop over to the optimizer, um, they've got this as the top play for her on prize picks. Um, they've got it at 53.23% uh, odds to hit the over, and it's at a minus 132. FanDuel also has this line at 15 and a half, and they have it at a minus 132 as well. Um, so if you're uncomfortable with this play, just fade it. You know, always go with your gut. Uh, we're just showing you what we like, but um, I'm going to be taking this for more for sure. And then um, Jackie Young, uh, I like her to be able to get this done at 27 and a half. She's cleared at six out of her last 10, and she's been on a little bit of a, he a heater lately four out of her last five um, over that five game stretch averaging uh, 32.6 minutes a game 2.4 fouls so not getting in foul trouble shooting 48 percent from the field on 12.8 attempts you love to see that 36 percent from beyond the arc uh, 1.8 on average uh, but five attempts so um, pretty pretty solid we'd like to see her maybe bump that percentage up a little bit but just under two uh, made per game is is pretty solid um, if we take a look at the matchup it's relatively solid other than the uh, the rebounds allowed. 10th um, in points allowed, 11th in assists allowed, and 4th in rebounds allowed. Um, but uh, I don't know. I feel like she'll be able to get this done. Um, she's been playing pretty solid minutes lately. Um, any injuries to... Uh, no, nothing of, nothing of note. Um, so yeah, I like her to go over this line. And then um, if we look at the optimizer for this play... Uh, they have this uh, at a 52.58% odds to hit the over at a minus 129. Um, and, uh, you know, FanDuel's got this middle of the road. They're kind of 50-50 on it. Um, they've got it at a minus 112. Um, so they're a little uncertain there, but I feel like she can get this done tonight. Um, and uh, if you guys are interested in checking out this app, Outlier, uh, this is what we use to vet all of our plays. It's a great statistical analysis tool. You can cover matchup, uh, injury reports, and insights about the players. Um, so we love this app. We use it every single day and uh, they're also a partner of ours. And uh, if you'd like to give it a shot, um, they're giving all of our viewers a seven day free trial. So you can just go try it risk free for seven days, take advantage of it. And Outlier actually has a little uh, insight about Jackie here. It says uh, Jackie Young has exceeded 27.5 points, rebounds and assists in five of her last six games on the road, averaging 32.8 points, uh, rebounds and assists uh, per game. Uh, so yeah, Outlier also helps with just little insights like that. Um, so yeah, feeling great about these. Uh, I'll pass it over to Jordy to cover his plays. Yeah, so to get me started, I'm going to be going with uh, Tina Charles. We'll start with her first. Over 17.5 fantasy score for in the first half on prize picks. I feel really good about this line for Tina. Um, she's gone over this in five straight games. Um, she's gone over eight out of her last ten. And she's gone over it in every single head-to-head -head so far. Oh, excuse me. So I feel really good about it. Um, 12 out of her last 18 games, she's gone over this. So she's off to a hot start on hitting this for the season. Um, so yeah, it just looks, you know, it's hitting all the indicators for me. Um, she's got a pretty decent matchup here too. 12th in points allowed, um, 12th in assists and second in rebounds. So a little tough in the rebounding category, but last time she played them, she had 11 rebounds and 12 points. So that's why I like the fantasy score um, in the first half because she does get like a lot of blocks and steals and stuff. So um, the fantasy score was looking even better for the full game. She still missed it just barely, but that's the full game. That's why I like the first half here. She's hit this a lot more often. So she's a good first half player. So liking that one for her. Um, not much more to talk about there. So moving on to uh, Angel Reese. I feel really good about Angel Reese's under here. This is kind of inflated because um, she had a really big 25 point game recently but if you look at it on the season she's only gone over this line um, five out of 18 games so I really like the under here um, she's gone like under this line um, you know quite a bit but over the last three games or the last five games she's been doing pretty well but the last two games she's missed this and if you look at the points matchup against Seattle they're point uh, 
point fourth in points allowed um to her position so it's going to be a tough matchup for her um you know she plays a lot of minutes but i honestly i don't think she's getting close to this last time they played she had 11 points so she got decently close on 30 minutes um but we'll see i feel really good about the under uh, if you want to take a look at this on daily grind so her points are basically a 50 50 um it's just a 50 percent chance minus 117 so go with your gut i feel good about the under the over is just slightly favored um, more than the under it's a 0.6 uh, 50.06 versus a 49.94 percent chance so just barely favored for the under i like the uh, or the over so i like the under but go with your gut um but yeah that's the uh two i've got for you guys today all right and yeah as far as angel reese goes if seattle can get uh, a reasonable amount of defensive rebounds she'll definitely not hit that over because <laughs> she misses yeah, everything she puts true. up yeah and it's just put back after put back um but uh yeah if you guys want to check out chalkboard uh they're another partner of ours uh they're a platform uh, kind of like uh, prize picks and underdog like daily fantasy sports but they give you the freedom to set your own lines uh, so they give you like pretty much all of the alt line options and uh, if you boost it up you get a higher multiplier if you lower it you get a lower multiplier but you can fine tune it to whatever you want uh, they run specials every single day um, so usually like six or more special uh, props that they put out um, and plays as low as a dollar so we love chalkboard that's totally where it's at you can really get some awesome and they, they also have like flex play style uh, plays uh, theirs is called the shield play uh, but we we talk about chalkboard every video because it's just so awesome. Um, the, it's it's in my opinion uh, the best platform on the market. So definitely go check out chalkboard. Um, we're also partnered up with Sleeper. So if you guys are interested in uh, checking out Sleeper, we're going to be getting more into Sleeper and uh, hopefully be able to launch uh, some sort of uh, video for Sleeper and chalkboard. It's just a little bit difficult because they don't have a desktop option yet. Um, but if you go over to Sleeper and you use uh, code BACKDOORFS, so just put the FS at the end, uh, they'll give you a deposit match up to $100 as well. So definitely check them out. We'll absolutely be diving into uh, the Sleeper platform uh, for football season as well. Um, so yeah, if you're just continuing to look to diversify, uh, go hop on Sleeper as well. And uh, they're running specials constantly to protected plays and discounted plays. All right, if you guys want to join our Discord community, uh, we have a really killer community over here. Uh, we cover all sorts of sports. We can cover a lot more in our Discord community than we can uh, just in single videos. Um, and we also have two extra analysts in here, uh, Moose and Konzel, who've been uh, killing it. And uh, you can follow uh, Moose or Jordy and I on uh, X. Um, our links are in the description of the video. But if you do want to join our Discord community, um, just go through the Patreon link. Patreon's just managing our subscriptions right now, but we, we will be adding bonus content to Patreon as well. Um, but by joining through Patreon, you just uh, join and then go into the uh, settings there. And then there's an external apps option. Just connect your Discord. It's real simple. And uh, it'll unlock our whole channel for you. Um, hop in the community chat. If you join, let us know you're new. We'll show you how we do everything in here. But we have a lot of fun. We cover all sorts of sports, esports, soccer, um, baseball. There's just uh, the community is awesome in here. So come join us. We'd love to have you. And um, good luck on your uh, Flex Friday slips, guys. Uh, have a great weekend and we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.